So no matter how great the setback, how severe the failure, you never give up. You never give up. You pick yourself up, you brush yourself off, you push forward, you move on, you adapt, you overcome. That is what I believe. You guys seen the madness? Four negates, five negates, fluffle pendulums. Don't matter what type of pendulums, it's five negates every turn. You guys seen it. Now, deck list. Plain and simple. You're gonna see this deck list, you're gonna say, yo, Pen God. What's with this clusterfuck, man? Why, why so many fuffles? Why so many fuffles? Why so many thunder dragons? Why so many avia? Why so many non pendulum cards, etc., etc.? When you put them together with the idea and the logic behind cards that work together, such as Toy Vendor and Dark Worm, it works out perfectly. We are playing some OCG cards in here, letting you guys know ahead of time. But the second these guys come out, you can play it. Uh, number one is Fuffle Angel, it'll come out eventually. When Fuffle Angel comes out, Fuffle Pendulum is the best version of pendulums. But it does need Bubble Angel. Without Bubble Angel, it's not so much. But with Bubble Angel, Bubble Pendulum is the best version of Pendulums. One other OCG card we're playing is Otis Revolution Dragon because it works so well with Dark Worm. And the whole point of the Fuffle, uh, why the reason why the versatility of Fuffles is so good in Pendulums is that Toy Vendor, which is searchable by 9 cards, uh, and Dark Worm, which is searchable by 11 cards with the Revolution Dragon, Gives you vendor vendor dark worm, which is like Exodia. It's remarkable. Uh, there's a high chance you're gonna get a fumble anyways with it. Then you get a free summon from any monster in your hand, and you get dark worm and great for free to get a free gate zero. And then eventually you pop the the vendor with Electrum, Sky Iris, etc., etc. It's a fantastic combination. Now, in regards to the actual how how they work together, it's just those twenty cards. Uh, turbo cards like Abductor, Chronograph, Servers, etc. And one card negates, and then a few garnets, and that's it. The, uh, to me, Fubble Dog is not a garnet. Toy Vendor is not a garnet. These cards are incredible. They give you plus two draws. The garnets, to me, are cards like Time Gazer. That's like, even it. That's it. Like, on a, like if you're a skill, you're not a garnet, right? Like, Gate Zero or, or Angel. Typically, you're going to get Gate Zero, Fubble Angel every single turn, and then you pen all the one card negates. So the point is, you get Gate Zero and uh, Angel and the scale. You pen summon a bunch of your Thunder Dragons, Avion, Persona Dragons, one card rank fours, and the pluses you get on Toy Vendor, and that's how you get the negates. That's how you get the negates. So if you haven't seen the first video already where I put up four negates in turn uh, of my first duel, my second duel I put up five negates. If you haven't seen them already, like, they were back to back, but they're just when I was testing, when I'm like, you know what, let's do this, let's get it done. Every single turn is four or five negates. It actually does not brick. It does not brick. I know it might seem like it bricks, like there's a lot of different cards out here. It does not brick, I'm telling you. Something about the combination of these cards together, test it for yourself. Check this bubble pendulum out, bubble pendulum deck out, it does not brick, it's remarkable. Now, for the bubble cards, you got three bubble dogs, three bubble bear, three toy vendor. Why? Because nine cards that get toy vendor. Bubble dog, normal summon, get bubble bear. Bear discards set vendor. And it's remarkable. It just ensures you get Toy Vendor out every single turn. And Toy Vendor is uh, the engine. It's a secondary engine. Just how DD Kepler was the old engine. Footballs are the new uh, engine that, D that is replacing DDs with one Electrum. Because all you need is the one Electrum. And it gives you the plusing and the drawing. And it ends with one free scale. So after you get your free plus two drop on Toy Vendor, you, you search the Buffalo Angel at the very end. So you get a free scale. So the card replaces itself. Plus you draw two cards for free. So it is remarkable in that sense. And then we play three Revolution Dragon, three Dark Worm, three Iris, two Terraforming. Eleven in total ways to get Dark Worm. Uh, Iris will get the Revolution Dragon, which discard to get Dark Worm. And then you'll vendor the Dark Worm because uh, you have nine ways to get it. And it always ensures that you're going to end with uh, two scales always. Those 20 cards ensures that you get scale zero and scale eight in, in Gate Zero and Bubble Angel. And then you pendulum summon the rest. And if you happen to draw one of your 11, look at how many Turbo cards you got as well. If you draw one of the nine with one of the 11, you have 11 turbo cards in Dark Room. 11. Plus three of Doctor, which is a surefire turbo card with all the spells and uh, spells that leave the scale, right? And triple chrono, triple servants. You don't even need Foolish or Shrine because you have access to Dark Room so many times that Foolish ends up being just dead, right? So you have nine real turbo cards with 11 pseudo turbo cards. There's 20 turbo cards. You always get an Electrum first turn. And even if you don't, it doesn't matter. And Hand Trap do not affect this. The only thing hand traps affect here is just Joel and Lockbird. Joel and Lockbird is the only hand trap that affects this. What are you gonna, what are you gonna ash ogre? I don't care if you ogre my Electrum. I'm just pen summoning the Avions, the Persona Dragons, the Thunder Dragons, anyways. So it doesn't matter if you hit the Electrum. It really doesn't. Hand traps don't do anything to this. It's literally completely done, like dead. And 
Troll doesn't even do much anyways. Like, if you drop Bubble Bear, it sets Toy Vendor. Like, what do you get? Like, the searching is just from the Sky Irises, but they're all monsters anyways. Like, let's say you draw me. Okay, Thunder Dragon, search for two Thunder Dragons, draw. No problem. Scales, Pendrosan, Persona Dragon, double Thunder Dragon, random monsters, Electro, double Colossus, and uh, Negate. Like, that's three Negates through a draw. It doesn't matter. Like, you're gonna get the gates through any hand traps. Hand traps do not affect this build whatsoever. So I built it for hand traps not to affect it. The only time it'll affect it is if you draw all spells, like all buffle dogs, stuff like that, and then they have draw. Like the chances of that are rare anyways. A lot of the times you bring out Avion to stop it regardless. And Avion stops hand traps, you bring out a chronograph, right? So that's what it is. 20 cards, a, uh, they work so well together, it's unbelievable. Because they get you the two skills at the end, right? They get you the gate zero, and they get you the level angel at the end of the play for free. So you get two free scales, and then you go off with the cards and plus a lot anyways, plus two free scales. So it's like, draw two, two free scales. It's insane. They get a free gate zero, opening one vendor, like opening uh, the combo here, like uh, two or three of these together. You end up with z uh, gate zero, buffalo angel. Uh, you draw from the vendor, and then you can end up getting the turbo cards, make the electrum. The Electrum's gonna send a Jackal, you're gonna add back Persona, Jackal, Iris is gonna get another Negate, like, look up your one card, Negate's Iris on top of those 20, triple, five, stay with me here, there's five Sky Irises, which has Persona Dragon, that's seven, triple of Doctor gets any one you want, that's 10, 13, 16, 19, 21, there's 21 one card interruptions in this deck, with 20 turbo cards, the versatility is incredible, and it's just remarkable, like, I love this deck, I don't know how I create these decks, but it's remarkable, it works so well together. Uh, so the, the whole deck is just turbo card, no fillers, there's no fillers, there's no fillers. There's turbo cards, there's the combo card with, with the Fluffle and Dark Worm drawn together, so 9 Fluffles, 11 uh, cards to get Dark Worm, there's 20 turbo cards in total, 21 one card, negate, uh, one card negates. The way it works together, how the vers versatility that they each do different things is insane. And the, also uh, how Iris gives the opportunity to scale 1, scale 8, you can always have gate 0 and Fluffle Angel because of how it works. The, it never breaks, you always have scales. Sometimes you do have a dead card, like let's say for example Bubble Wings or whatever, it doesn't matter. Like this deck does not need five cards to play anymore. Uh, when the combo, the, the Fluffle and Dark Worm combo, which have, you have nine Fluffles and eleven Dark Worms, uh, gives you at the very end a Gate Zero and a Bubble Angel anyways. So whatever levels up in your hand doesn't matter because you get free scales, so you don't need to worry about scales. You always have scales. And then you pendulum some of the one card negates, and that's how it's so consistently good that I get four to five negates every single turn. And it's not just those two duels. I could post 10 duels for you guys. Uh, I get this every single time. I'll be showing another video off of Pendulums tomorrow. And it's going to be insane. Where I showcase the true power of Thunder Dragons in it. Well, you can't, you can't always draw the Thunder Dragon. But when you do, it's insane. It's like, it, it's as powerful, how, almost as powerful as how Kirin was. It's literally double Colossus for free. You get double Colossus from drawing one Thunder Dragon. Because you simply pen the two Thunder Dragons. It's insane. And I look like, you cannot have bad hands. It's actually literally impossible to have bad hands. That is the main deck itself. Uh, I play uh, Gazo as well, and then the two Bubble Wings. Two Bubble Wings is all I need. I find out uh, most of the time I do have access to two of the 11 anyways. And then it, it's easy. It's easy. You only need to draw, uh, like, one of the... Like, it's so easy to get. That's it for that. Side deck's not a real side deck. It's cards that I might play. Piper Meister is absolutely busted. It's broken. We discovered this through the Pendulum database, which I'll be doing more Pendulum database videos after my Patreon videos are done. Uh, but they're all going to be about Pendulum anyways. Now, Piper Meister is insane. Uh, we're going to talk about more eventually. When I do more Piper Pendulum videos in the future, uh, but Piper Meister is incredible with this deck. I didn't, don't, didn't want to put too many cards in it. Uh, and then Edge of Chain, Piper pa Patchwork, all three work together. Polly as well. These are just different cards that I, was, I can play, but I opted for this 45 card version. In the future, I might add 15 more Pendulums just to ensure a higher ratio of drawing all Pendulums. The only bad hands you have is when you draw five, five Fluffle cards. But it really does not happen. I find you don't need that many pendulum cards to play. If you guys saw my last video, I opened two pendulums and I still oh I had five negates on board, like four negates and a dweller. So you don't need to open like a bunch of pendulums to start. It's not how it was before. We need oh, a bunch of pendulums in hand. You just like the dark worm bubble combo leads to two scales anyways. So why do you need pendulums? You can just pen some in Avion, Thunder Dragon, etc., etc. So in the future, all I would change is add fifteen pendulums. Uh, maybe add 15 magician. Add no magician. Just 15 pendulums and do the same thing that all these do. Maybe 15 uh, like monster negates that are pendulums or something. Tyler the versatility of being a negate or a scale. In terms of extra deck, we've got Electro, Lapronacus, Zephyr Metaltron, uh, both Nightmare, Nightmare Servers, Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Mermaid in case it can go downwards. 
Borlo, I just think it's, I don't, a lot of people like Borlo's sword way more, but I think Borlo's just better. Uh, Tornado, Dweller, and Karen Gorgon. Naruto, Absolute Dragon, Vortex, and then Double Colossus. The only thing I would take out would be the Vortex and Absolute. They're not that good in this build because there's two level sevens that I want XYZ with, which is the Gate Zero, which typically ends in my scale, and my uh, Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. Uh, there's also not much space anymore for rank, rank plays. Uh, in order to get four negates, you need a clear space, which means you need to have three one card in, one card negates. So, like for example, two one Jackal, one Persona Dragon, one Avion, or something like that, and then one one rank four. Assuming you have an Electrum, right? And even if you don't, you still you only have space for that. So if you're gonna pen someone, you, you can't make two X Y Zs from your extra deck. Like you can't make a, a if you make Absolute Dweller and Avion, that's five spots on the board. Since there's five spots on the board, there's no space for that. That's only because th they only let lead to three negates. Does that make sense? That's why you need more one card negates. Because the more one card negates you have, the more space you have on board to pendulum summon. Uh, without three electrum, you can't uh, play with your field, linking everything away anymore. So you need as many one card interruptions as possible. I, I can't stress that enough. So I think actually, you know what? I will be taking out absolute vortex. I just talked myself into it. We're taking those out for cards that are, are better going second. Uh, that's why I didn't want to have the nightmares up with the mermaid going downwards. We are also going to add. Uh, Evil Storm Exiton Knight. I think it's having access to this is, is incredible. And we're going to add the other Nightmare as well. Because I do find it sometimes I do want to go to Nightmare Unicorn as well. It does come clutch sometimes, uh, especially with the Thunder Dragons. But you know what? Speed of Thunder Dragons, let's just put one on one. I think this card's great against, against Thunder Dragons. Boom. Done. That's a deck. That's how it is right now. Make sure to check out the other duels we did. We just put up four or five negates every turn with this deck. It seems like a whole cluster cluster bit, but it's really not. It works out fantastically. I absolutely love the deck. So hope you guys like the video. Tomorrow, again, this whole video is dedicated to Patreon. Uh, thank you, Abishak. And now, the next, tomorrow's video is going to be more focused on the Football Pendulum Thunder Dragon variant. We're going to show you guys the hands where I actually open a Thunder Dragon. Because when you open a Thunder Dragon, it ends on Double Colossus. It's insane. I'll show you how to do this finding game for it easily. Uh, not by luck, just easily. And anyways, hope you guys like this video. See you guys at the next video. Peace.